Hey guys, how you doing today? I just want to take a couple of seconds to talk to you about uh, Real Revival. We talked about it last weekend at the gathering, and I'm telling you what, it was an amazing time, and I think a, a time of super great information for people. Uh, because we've, you know, we've seen revival in the church. We know what it looks like. We all have kind of an idea of what that means and what it looks like. And, and I think that God's wanting to do something completely different in this day and age than he's done, even in just the last few revival that we've had, where we've had, you know, a lot of manifestation gifts going on and all those kind of things. I think this particular revival that the Lord is looking to uh, bring about in the church is a revival of maturity. And um, this weekend at the gathering, I was actually humbled by how many people, we had a time of testimony, like I said, how many people came up and shared what was going on in their world this week in regards to them reaching out and touching lost people. It was an amazing thing. And to me, that is a real sign of maturity. It's a real sign of taking hold of um, our relationship with God and really reaching out and touching the things that God has for us here in this time. And so uh, we talked about revival, kind of, at, like I said, at great lengths. And, and I want to just kind of go over a couple of the pieces because I thought they were super important. Again, we talked about how, how in past times they've been manifestation. And again, the manifestation this time, um, I think, is, gonna, is going to come from the inside. It's not going to just be a topically kind of applied thing. It's going to be uh, for us, but it's going to be more for the people around us this time than it's going to be for us, the church. And again, that's why I believe it's a maturity thing. I think it's going to, to really take a hold of the hearts of people who are actually seeking God, who are looking for God, and uh, who are desiring to connect with the purposes of God in their life. And so let me, le let me read this definition to you um, that I came up with for revival, because I think it's a really kind of a succinct and yet powerful statement. The definition is this, that revival is a spiritually inspired change to everyday personal life. Get that, a spiritually inspired change. So it, it, it's not a change that we can do ourselves. It's not something that we can force. It's not something that we can mandate. It is only something that can take place via the Spirit. And it's not gonna be something that's going to be external. It's gonna be something that is internal, something that comes from within us. Christ lives in us. And so therefore this revival, this personal revival is going to come from the Spirit of God inside us that, that, that inspires change. Do you know that the Holy Spirit is called the change agent? And that's really the reality of what we need in the church. We need to change. Now, the church is made up of each individual, and so th if the change is going to occur in the church at large, it's going to have to occur in the heart and the life of the individual. And so this spiritually inspired change takes place on a personal level every day. It's not something that happens once a week. It's not a Sunday. It's not a meeting, right, that we've set aside to have revival. It's not that. It is a lifestyle. It is an everyday personal living out of this in spiritually inspired change in our heart and our life. That, to me, is huge. If we could get that in the church, if we could quit looking at the, the great big monster things that are supposed to happen in the church and just look at the small thing. You know, you remember that scripture where it talks about the still small voice? To me, I think that there, there's a level of maturity in that. You know, the prophet at that time walked out to the edge of the, of the cave and, and saw all manner of different monstrous kind of manifestations happen and God wasn't there, but he was in the still small voice. And I think that there's a level of maturity that God was bringing to the prophet then that he's bringing to the people now. And it's for us to quit looking for the monster thing and start looking for the little thing, to not despise the days of humble beginnings. And God is calling us, the church, to revival, no question, individually, personally. And it is, a, it is something that is going to bring us to a completely different kind of lifestyle. And that is... I believe is what he's aiming at in these last days. So we'll continue this conversation, but I wanted to just kind of touch base and at least begin it with you and get you thinking down the pathway of maybe a new way of, of uh, revival for your own personal life. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye now.